Uh, but what we know so far is that Manus works like a general AI agent. So it's important to, to make the distinction here between what Manus can do and a, a sort of everyday chatbot. Because Manus AI is taking the AI world by storm. But is it really as powerful as people claim? Within days of launch, invite codes started selling for thousands of dollars, and Chinese media is already calling it a national AI breakthrough. Some experts say it's the most advanced AI tool ever, while others believe it's just overhyped automation. But here's the real question. Is Manus AI a legitimate threat to OpenAI and Google, or is this all just clever marketing? In this video, we're breaking down what Manus AI is, how it works, why it's generating so much hype, and whether it actually delivers on its bold promises. The insane hype around Manus AI. Manus AI was officially announced by a Chinese startup called Butterfly Effect, and within days, it became one of the most talked about AI platforms in the world. It's being described as an agentic AI, meaning it doesn't just answer questions like ChatGPT. It's supposed to take action, making decisions and completing tasks autonomously. The hype is undeniable. The official Manus Discord server exploded to over 138,000 members in just a few days. AI experts are calling it revolutionary. The head of product at Hugging Face tweeted that it's the most impressive AI tool I've ever tried. Even AI policy researcher Dean Ball went as far as calling it the most sophisticated computer using AI. But that's not even the crazy part. Because Manus AI is invite-only, demand skyrocketed. Some invite codes started selling for thousands of dollars on Chinese resale platforms like Zhang Yu. And this isn't just hype from the public. Chinese media jumped on the story immediately. Outlets like QQ News called Manus AI the pride of domestic products, fueling speculation that this could be China's next major AI breakthrough. Many compared it to DeepSeek, a Chinese AI company that developed its own large language model. But is that comparison really fair? What makes Manus AI different? Unlike ChatGPT, Gemini, or Claude, which are designed as conversational assistants, Manus AI is meant to be an autonomous agent, a system that can take actions without constant human input. According to Yichao Peak G, a research lead at Manus, the platform is designed to bridge the gap between conception and execution. But what does that actually mean? According to Butterfly Effect's website, Manus AI is supposedly capable of handling real-world tasks that go beyond simple text-based interactions. It claims to be able to buy real estate by analyzing market trends and initiating transactions, analyze financial reports to detect investment opportunities, write code and develop video games without manual programming, manage business operations by automating workflows, and even order food and book flights like a human assistant. This all sounds like the future of AI. In theory, an AI that can autonomously execute complex, multi-step tasks would be a game-changer. And according to G, Manus has already outperformed OpenAI's research tools on an industry benchmark called Gaia, which measures an AI's ability to browse the web, interact with software, and complete real-world tasks. How does Manus actually work? Here's where things get interesting. Despite all the hype, Manus AI isn't built from scratch. It doesn't have its own unique AI model. Instead, it functions as an orchestration of existing AI systems, combining models like Anthropic's Claude, Alibaba's Quen, and other fine-tuned AI models. Rather than developing a proprietary AI, Butterfly Effect has built a system that integrates and automates existing tools, making it more of an advanced AI automation platform rather than a direct competitor to OpenAI or Google in AI model development. Adding to the confusion, a viral video falsely claimed that Manus AI could autonomously control multiple apps, creating the impression that it was an unprecedented breakthrough. However, Yichao Peak G later confirmed that the video wasn't an official demo, meaning the claims surrounding its capabilities were exaggerated. Another key difference often overlooked in the comparisons with DeepSeek is that DeepSeek actually built and released its own large language model as an open source project. In contrast, Butterfly Effect has not made any of its technology publicly available. This raises an important question. If Manus AI is simply stitching together existing models, how much of the hype is actually justified and how much of it is just smart marketing? The major flaws and failures of Manus AI. This is where things start to fall apart. Despite its futuristic promises, early users have reported major issues with Manus AI. While the hype suggested it could handle complex, real-world tasks seamlessly, 
real-world testing has painted a very different picture. TechCrunch's Kyle Wiggers tested the platform and found that it struggled with even the most basic tasks. When asked to order a fried chicken sandwich, it crashed after 10 minutes. Attempting to book a flight resulted in nothing but broken links to airline websites. It failed to complete a restaurant reservation after multiple attempts, and when tasked with building a simple Naruto-inspired video game, the system errored out after 30 minutes, failing before it even got started. And this isn't just one bad test. AI startup founder Alexander Doria shared on X, formerly Twitter, that his experience was just as frustrating. He found that Manus AI frequently ran into error loops, misinterpreted instructions, and failed to complete tasks in a way that made it unreliable. Even worse, many users noted that Manus doesn't consistently cite sources, often makes factual errors, and sometimes completely misses key information that is easily available online. These are basic AI assistant functions, and yet Manus struggles with them. So despite all the hype about being fully autonomous, Manus is currently struggling with fundamental AI tasks, tasks that models like GPT-4 or Gemini could handle in seconds. This raises a big question. Is this just a case of early stage technical issues or is Manus AI fundamentally flawed? The Chinese media and hype machine. Manus AI's meteoric rise wasn't just due to its capabilities. It was fueled by an intense wave of media coverage and social media hype, particularly in China. Almost immediately after its launch, major Chinese media outlets started framing it as a technological breakthrough. One of the most vocal supporters was QQ News, which called Manus AI the pride of domestic products, a direct contrast to AI advancements from OpenAI and Google. This kind of language framed Manus as a symbol of China's growing dominance in artificial intelligence, further driving demand. AI influencers on platforms like Weibo and X, formerly Twitter, jumped on the Manus train, making bold claims that weren't always accurate. Some stated that Manus could fully replace human workers, while others implied that it was already far ahead of OpenAI's GPT-4 and Google's Gemini in terms of capabilities. The exclusivity factor played a significant role as well. Because Manus AI was invite-only, it created a sense of scarcity, making it seem far more advanced than it actually was. Invite codes started selling for thousands of dollars, and this artificial demand created the perception that Manus was the next big thing in AI. And then came the DeepSeek comparisons. DeepSeek, another major Chinese AI company, made headlines when it developed its own large language model and open-sourced its technology. Many AI enthusiasts assume Manus was following the same path, but that's not the case. Unlike DeepSeek, Butterfly Effect hasn't made any of its technology open-source, meaning we don't really know what's under the hood. While Manus has generated global interest, much of it was built on hype, exclusivity, and exaggerated claims rather than real-world performance. But even with these flaws, OpenAI and Google can't afford to ignore what's happening here. Why OpenAI and Google should still be paying attention? Even if Manus AI isn't quite the revolutionary tool it was hyped up to be, it represents something bigger, a major shift in China's AI ambitions. The real story here isn't just about Manus. It's about China's aggressive push to become a leader in AI, and that's what should make OpenAI and Google take notice. China has poured billions of dollars into AI research and development, with the government directly supporting AI initiatives. In 2023 alone, China accounted for over 20% of global AI funding, and this number is only growing. Tech companies like Alibaba, Tencent, and Baidu have all invested heavily in AI research, and Manus AI is just the latest example of this rapid progress. Even if Manus isn't perfect right now, it signals that China's closing the gap. Just a few years ago, most of the world's leading AI advancements came out of Silicon Valley. Now, we're seeing Chinese AI companies developing and launching competitive AI tools at an unprecedented rate. And while OpenAI, Google, Wuck, and Meta still lead the AI race, there's a key factor that could shift the balance, China's focus on AI infrastructure. One of the biggest challenges for AI companies today is computing power. Training large-scale AI models requires massive amounts of GPUs, and right now China is investing heavily in AI data centers and custom AI chips to reduce its dependence on Western technology. If China succeeds in creating a self-sufficient AI ecosystem, companies like Butterfly Effect could rapidly scale their AI projects. That's when things could get serious. If Manus evolves and scales, it could become a true competitor in AI automation, 
especially for markets outside the U.S., where OpenAI and Google don't have as strong a presence. This is why the real concern isn't just Manus itself, it's the larger AI race between China and the West. Is Manus a sign of what's coming? We're entering a new phase of AI development. Just a couple of years ago, AI was primarily focused on text-based chatbots like ChatGPT, but now the industry is shifting toward fully autonomous AI agents. AI that doesn't just answer questions, but takes real action. This is exactly what Manus AI is trying to do. And while it has its flaws, it shows where AI is headed. Big tech companies already see this shift coming. OpenAI has been quietly working on autonomous AI agents, and recent leaks suggest they're developing a system called Agent GPT, which would work similarly to Manus, but with OpenAI's large language models powering it. Google has also been exploring agentic AI with deep investments in tools that can automate entire workflows instead of just providing responses. Meta is also making moves in this space, as AI agents become the next frontier in how businesses and individuals interact with AI. So while Manus AI might not be a game changer just yet, it's a glimpse into the future of AI. AI is moving beyond simple chatbots and towards systems that can act, automate, and even replace certain human workflows. If you've made it this far, let us know what you think in the comments section below. For more interesting topics, make sure you watch the recommended video that you see on the screen right now. Thanks for watching.